Hello everyone, welcome to Heel Charm Shine. In today's video, we are going to see what you need to know now. What is that you are um, not aware of yet? What is that you are thinking about? What you need to know now? Um, I am uh, definitely doing a giveaway this month. You guys know about it. The only uh, things which are needed to be a part of this giveaway is that you need to be a subscriber and you need to um, be present in the uh, in the current readings in the in this month's reading. So I should see you somewhere in the comments because that is where I'm going to pick you from. So from the comments section uh, so i hope um, you enjoy the giveaway as well as well as my reading thank you so much for being here thank you for your subscriptions thank you for all your love and support i hope you get the right messages whatever you're looking for and the right guidance from this video so today we are seeing what you need to know now so this will be a general topic about everything love rela uh, uh, be it relationships be it wealth be it health be it anything anything whatever guidance will come for you uh, so you um, that we are going to share the and that we are going to talk about and let's see what what happens uh, thank you so much for being here i'll see you in your path pile number one so in today's reading we are seeing what you need to know now so any specific message or any guidance that comes for you which will help you to go ahead in your life be it about relationships wealth money uh, finances anything anything uh, your health or any other thing you need to know now from the spirit guides need you to know spirit guide needs to help you or um, get your attention on something so whatever messages comes will definitely guide you to the right in the right direction also please do check out the intro because i have um, i uh, i have mentioned the giveaway i'm doing this month in the intro part so do check it out let's see what uh, your messages this this is a very beautiful card let's see what it says look inside yourself examine what is causing you to feel this way um, meditation is a beautiful way to look inside yourself uh, vipassana is the method where you actually go within where you look inside yourself which i which i love which i cherish that's a beautiful beautiful way of meditation and uh, if whatever whatever your method is the, whatever you're comfortable with whatever you love doing this is one way you will find most of your answers or uh, you will come into alignment with a lot in your life and it will and things will start getting easier things will start feeling simpler uh, complications and um, obstacles will uh, start reducing so looking inside yourself is a way which actually brings you peace and calm uh, it's not just uh, uh, it's not just new age nonsense or something in fact there's nothing new age about meditation it's an ancient ancient knowledge ancient wisdom and uh, let's see what uh, more messages comes for you but that is what what the first guidance from the spirit guides is for you that you should st start a regular practice of meditation if you're not doing it already if you're doing it already very good keep doing it you're on the right track let's see what more we can find out from this from the tarot about what you need to know now okay oh wow oh my god <laughs> so we have abundance over here financial abundance over here i'm seeing independence i'm seeing financial independence i'm seeing abundance uh this is the emperor and this is the minor arcana empress in tarot the nine of pentacles is the minor arcana empress so the emperor over here it shows dominance it shows that you know what you want and you're going to go after it it also shows a very uh, strong state of mind that you know what you want to achieve and that happens when you are regularly meditating that your mind becomes more focused on what you want and less interested in things which are not good for you which are not suited in your life it comes so naturally that it becomes your second it becomes your nature not even second nature it becomes your nature to um, go after what you desire go after and think about what you want so the the emperor energy over here the aries energy it uh, it is giving me and i'm also seeing the earth signs over here so taurus virgo capricorn so i am seeing that the emperor over here is telling you that if you have a way to do something to start something on a finance like something different than what you're doing right now to make your money if you have uh, an idea to maybe um, start a side hustle 
or start something online do some kind of business get into something start a channel start a podcast start a blog uh, um, do something which will give you some uh, a new source of income which or which will put you on a new path and this can uh, whatever you're starting right now it can start small because we have a minor arcana empress over here but it has huge potential to become really really big so whatever you're starting right now or no pro no matter how small it is you have the potential to take it to the to the to the biggest level possible so that is what we see with the emperor like reaching the biggest level getting uh, reaching the top so uh, if you will definitely find happiness and there is also a sense of comfort and luxury which the nine of pentacles and and, and nine of pentacles the or the minor arcana empress also gets a lot of attention so if this is related to uh, something like online doing online business uh, selling something online teaching online talking online via youtube and all you'll get a lot of attention which is a very good thing because that is what you want when you when you're starting a new business so you will get the right kind of attention you'll get a lot and you will definitely do good on it and it will take time because there is a difference there yet there are stages over here from a minor arcana to a major arcana definitely there is going to be uh, some time uh, but you will be on the right path so if there is any um, idea going on in your mind if you want to want it always wanted to do something but you just keep pushing it and say that um, i'll do it later on or it will have when the time is perfect the time will never be perfect there is nothing as per perfection is an illusion there's nothing as perfection you learn on the go you learn when you're doing it so i i would um, highly suggest that whatever this idea is start doing it right now there is no better time than now start doing it right now start um, you know whatever this is start that blog start that channel start um, whatever that idea is start take take steps into it small steps and it will definitely lead you to the right place in in fact this will also give this can also turn into your full time income even if it starts like a side hustle later slowly slowly you can also make this as your main source of income your full time full time income you can leave your boring job you can leave whatever uh, you're not comfortable whatever you don't like doing and move towards something which you would enjoy which you will be very happy about it's very important to make your money through something which you love doing and that is something which i am doing right now and um, i wouldn't give this up for anything because this is this does not only give me the freedom to uh, live the life i want but it also makes me very happy and satisfied so that is what you are looking for because we can see this on this minor arcana empress face she is happy she is satisfied she is doing her thing she is in a world so that is what you are manifesting or that is what you are trying to achieve and if you have any idea now is the time now is the time dive deep into it go for it the worst will happen that it won't work but the, at least you won't regret that i never gave it a try that's the worst thing regret is a worst thing instead of that you know failing to failing to do something you love is a better thing then regretting that i should have given it a try never regret on uh, don't don't waste your time on thinking give it a try nowadays people nowadays people are trying their luck in uh, doing um, any kind of business and they are really um, becoming successful in it it's not about money anymore it used to be back in the days but now it's the age of aquarius it's not about money anymore it's about peace of mind it's about flexibility it's about uh, loving what you're doing it's about um, the satisfaction you get from the work so i do see that you enjoying that because i see the business side i'm also seeing the pleasure side the luxury side the comfort side i'm seeing both the sides so very balanced energy beautiful energy um, and um, this is something you're going to definitely enjoy anything you you feel strongly pull towards that is the right thing you to get into using your skills your talent your creativity whatever is pulling you strongly your spirit guides want you to take action now emperor is all about taking action take action now let me see if i'm getting some more messages then we'll go for the oracle cards Let's see oh yeah see 9 9 but look at the difference in this 2 9 is almost done 10 is completion 2 9 is almost done the 9 of pentacles has her shit together will has everything what she wants knows what she wants is living her life the 9 of swords confused overthinking you don't need so many swords swords is your thoughts this person is overthinking this person is confused this person is not sure where they are they want to go 
you don't need so many swords only one sword is one sword is what you need so the overthinking is what is killing your vibe what is keeping you in a state of misery so this needs to go so this is one one warning for you that once you let go this you can get this and then this so overthinking is not what you needed focus on one thing at a time um, those people who try to multitask that's that's useless that's you you're fooling yourself one thing at a time is the best way to go that way you can make sure that everything what is important will give the right attention prioritize prioritize and stop overthinking it's not giving you any benefit at all in fact it's making you miserable so that is one very strong message for whoever uh, needs it right now okay let's see oh yes victory this is a beautiful card to get so once you let this go once this is gone you are victorious this is the card of victory we can see this uh, person who this warrior or what do you call it uh, a general or someone he won the battle and he's coming here as a victor now he's coming back home as a victor so six of wands is the it's also also a card of um, getting recognized both these cards talk about getting recognized getting some kind of following so if you're trying to do something online of or if that is the plan then it's going to get very well it's going to become very successful it's going to be very well recognized you might even go viral this is something both these cards show that you whatever you're going to try to trying to put out whatever this business you're going to try to start it's going to achieve the right kind of attention you want people are going to cheer you people are going to follow you people are going to like what you're giving what you're whatever you're delivering people are going to like you like that and once you get that right audience once you get the right support no one can stop you from becoming the emperor or the empress it's the same thing it's just uh, the feminine and masculine side of uh, our, our energy it's not about the gender of a person it's about the energy everybody has masculine energy everybody has feminine energy and sometimes you have to step into your masculine energy to get things done sometimes you have to step into your feminine energy to create things to uh, attract things to bring some softness to bring some care to bring some nurturing both is needed and i see that both on in you which is why you are successful this is a beautiful card so whatever this um, new thing you want to try or you're thinking about or you're overthinking about stop overthinking take action it will be successful very clear message i'm very happy for you pal number 1 now let's go for some further guidance i'm sorry i did not get any romance messages for you but uh, it's not not always about love right love yourself first love your business first love your money first love your life first everything else falls into place let's see any other messages which is coming for you pal number 1 then we'll also do initials today i know you like all that stuff the initial part might give you some clues uh we have scorpio away over your break through the tension yeah this is the tension this is the tension which needs to go which needs to be released and this is unnecessary tension no one is putting this tension on you you are doing it to yourself you are overthinking no one has the uh, no one is forcing you to overthink no one is forcing you to stay in this energy no one is forcing you to uh, think negative thoughts or go in that spiral down down downward spiral where you are going into a very negative mode this is all you because you are overthinking and this needs to be released and um, and meditation is a very good part to release this pattern of overthinking i know this because i am a overthinker and sometimes i do get stuck into this this mode but um, it's important to know how to stop this these extra swords are of no use one sword is clarity nine sword is burden ten sword is you are you are done so this is you are almost done you are almost over now let this now release this let it go and focus on making things happen uh, the best way to get out of this mode is also taking action when you just keep stay stuck in the planning mode it never ends you keep on planning 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 once you start taking action you get out of this and things start shifting things starts moving so break through the tension so the, this tension is something which needs to be released and full moon full moon again completion so i'm seeing this is com getting completed it won't be much of an issue very soon something is coming to an end 
the overthinking is coming to an end the negativity is coming to an end see the bigger picture yes emperor is all about the bigger picture picture emperor does not play small emperor is all about um, going for the stars you know reaching the moon obviously you'll have to st st uh, start small but you have the potential to go big so yes see the bigger picture have your eyes on the big picture and go for it and it you will definitely get really really close to this emperor or even maybe become the emperor or the empress whatever you want to be achieve whatever you will set your set your mind to achieve this is a very positive very positive reading for those who are trying to start something new even get a new job even if it is a job it doesn't have to be business even if it is a job i do see you uh what do you call it uh moving upward the ladder of cop maybe the corporate ladder reaching the top becoming the top of the top of your business uh, top of your job top of your career going reaching the the biggest level of your career you want to reach i do see you that that happening for you if this is about a job it will def, uh, it even if it's starting small at a junior level i do see you reaching the top top of that chain so this will definitely happen if you stay positive if you stay focused and stop overthinking it's a very clear message let's see what the fairies have to say uh, life energy the happy fairy of sunshine brings lot of life giving energy she reminds you to shine your light and to reveal anything in the shadows that needs to be healed so yes there is something which needs to be healed which needs to be let go this needs to be released once this is released then there is lot of lot of sunshine for you lot of happiness for you this is literally happiness sunshine one more then we'll go for the unicorns and then we'll go for the initials oh abundance wow see three cards talking about abundance this can't be a coincidence one two three three cards about abundance three cards of making big money so whatever you're doing it has the potential of making big money having a lot of money prepare yourself for incoming abundance release any mental blocks you have the mental blocks was this overthinking in fairy land and human land there is enough abundance for everyone so yes there is you definitely have a potential to make big money over here my big like really really my big money over here you might become the first millionaire in your family if you put your head to it whatever your goal is whatever that whatever that abundance for you is for some for some it is millions for some it is having a nice cozy home for some it it might be um having a um, uh, traveling the world for some it might be um, having the freedom to do whatever they want whatever abundance means for you you have the potential to to reach it to achieve it and uh, the spirit guides want you to take the step now and stop thinking stop planning the planning stops now and the action starts that is what the spirit guide wants you to know i'll go for the unicorns now okay the unicorn magic there is magic around you so expect expect excitement and joy we can see a treasure chest again over here so magic yes this is the time a uh, number 9 9 again so 9 has showed three time for you 9 is the number of almost done you are almost there completed like uh, the most of the part is done now you are almost there whatever you were trying to manifest it's almost there you are almost there so 9 is a very powerful number 9 uh, might be important for you the month of september also might be important for you or there is something major or uh, something important going to happen in september for you or maybe this business will take off in september uh, whatever it is but 9 um, is definitely an important number which i see over here magic there is magic around you so yes what th this is the time to manifest anything you want you are exactly in that mode where you can uh, like you have the midas touch you will definitely turn whatever you'll touch right now into gold but your heart should be into it because this the emperor as well as the minor arcana empress nine of pentacles they only go after things which they love doing it uh, don't uh, do something because it's in trend do something which you love doing which you're passionate about choices there is another way ask your unicorn to help you find it so you might have tried some ways which didn't work in the past and you might have given up on it so the uh, spirit guides are telling you that there is another way you have choices even if one door closed that does not mean that it's not going to, uh, that there's not uh, any other way to do it there is some other way 
you need to you need to find that and or if you can't if you can't do it the best way is to pray to whoever you believe in that help me find a way uh, why before you sleep just say a small prayer to whoever you believe in it does not have to be anything complicated just say it like just be very honest and truthful about the prayer just say it out loud that uh, please help me find a solution or please help me uh, with this or is this the if this is the right thing for me to do please help me get this and you can always add uh, help me get this or something better that that is one thing which i always add in my prayers either this or something better and you will definitely see uh, some solutions coming to you this has worked for me in past and i always use it spraying uh, being very honest about what you want and getting the right solutions for it the universe or spirit guides or angels or whoever you believe in is always happy to help but you need to ask for it you need to show your will for it there we have free will for a reason you should show your will for it that you need their support you need their help if you're closed off they can't help you if you're open to their help they will definitely help you let's go for some initials these initials might give you some clues for your for any name also if you want like uh, what you want to name your blog your business anything anything which comes from these initials uh, i know you like you like all these things but um, the main thing the main advice comes from the cards this is just something which you guys enjoy that is why i'm adding to the readings or else this doesn't this actually gives you some just assurance that i can see my initials i can see my name but the main advice comes from the cards okay most of you like to make words out of these uh, initials some can even get sentences out of, over here some can see some something important however this helps you uh, okay so this is what i have for you pal number 1 i hope you enjoyed the reading thank you again for being here do check out the intro part for the free giveaway information i'll see you in my next one welcome pal number 2 so today we are doing what you need to know now oh, so any messages regarding your health finances relationship anything which comes up we we are going to see any guidance which will help you move forward um also do check out the intro part where i have mentioned this month's giveaway let's see what your card says pal number 2 okay, it says look within look deep within your heart and you will feel my love my love for you is as deep as the ocean wow so this might be re related to love for you but i do see deep within your when when whenever there's mentioned deep within your heart or anything like that deep within it's always going within which was the message for pile number 1 like go within meditate go inside go in like over here also we can see that this person has a vision in his eyes this person is trying to manifest something by visualizing it maybe that is your way of bringing in something learn like bringing in something into existence into reality wishing in wishing up for something by visualizing it that is what i saw when when i saw his eye it's beautiful right this card is so beautiful let's see what uh, the tarot has to say so that we'll get more guidance about what you need to know now pal number 2 this is what is pal number 2 need to know now what is pal number 2 need to know now what is pal number two? okay oh wow that's such a coincidence pal number 1 had the emperor as the first card and you have the empress as your first card wow if you were being called to check that card that that, that pile do check it out it might have a message for you the emperor and the empress wow we are having a good day today aren't we let's see ah oh. talk about empress this is major arcana this is minor arcana wow wow either this is about the same sex relationship if it is about love or it is about a uh, um mentor mentee kind of relationship 
or this is about um, some per, some uh, some of you who's at uh, at the minor arcana empress level right now moving towards the major arcana empress but both have everything they want the minor arcana empress she is single she is living her life she has the money she wants she has uh, uh, the career she wants uh, she loves her pets she looks beautiful she gets a lot of attention everybody wants to date her everybody wants to marry her that is what she, that is what this archetype is now you don't have to be a woman to fall for like to fit into this this you can very well be a man but this is what your the energy is showing right now the energy of yes i'm living my life yes i'm free as the bird i yes i can uh, have anything i want yes i have the skills and talent to achieve anything i want yes i am living my life my life is completely in my control and then the major arcana empress over here who is more powerful actually she has created the entire deck the entire tarot deck has been created by her she is the mother of the deck so the major arcana empress is the married woman who my is even pregnant in this card so these messages take it as it resonates so pregnancy can be literally pregnancy if that is what you are hoping for that is what you want that you want to conceive you want a child then yes that is something which you which is going to happen for you really really soon and that is something which you can wish for pray for visualize manifest and it will come into reality but this can also be uh, creating your own universe like creating your own business creating your own dream life living your uh, living in your dream home uh, finding your dream partner creating your dream life so that is also giving birth to your dream life so that is also which um, might be what we are seeing over here with the empress but the empress over here is very stable extremely stable has achieved most of her goals everything is at a fingertips so the empress is over here who's li who uh, this one is on the way to living the dream life this one is living the dream life that's the difference so in wherever you are right now take it as it resonates some might be here some might be here but i see you doing exactly what you wanted to do i see you uh, putting in a lot of uh, effort into manifesting or bring or creating your own world and it becoming true it coming true your whatever you're doing visualizing or whatever law of attraction or whatever you're doing is working for sure also the yellow so much yellow yellow even over here with the rays over here yellow is all about happiness yellow is the color of happiness so i'm seeing a lot of happiness a lot of positivity so something has shifted for you recently very very recently which put you into a positive on a positive path which made you hopeful for life and this exact hope is going to take you where you want to go let's see more information this card was also in pile number 1 we had the emperor and this card and now you have empress and this card so strong connection with pile number 1 no nope. what a coincidence the emperor and empress coming after one after the other maybe some of you is wants to watch all the readings to get all the guidance you can because that's also not that's also not bad watching all the piles oh so the devil so uh, we have capricorn over here obviously uh, this is strong earth energy we have taurus we have capricorn we even have virgo so yes very strong earth energy maybe you have earth strong in your birth chart and uh, the devil over here as we have the empress so we are not going to see any negative aspect of the devil the empress and this card they both are so positive that i don't see any negative aspect in fact we are going to look at the positive aspects of the devil that is good in business both of these good in business that is this person has control this person has passion even the empress has passion to achieve whatever you want to get whatever you want has the magical qualities has the magical power so i'm seeing a lot of magician quality come bringing these both together this can also be a power couple a very very powerful couple like the um, when when they set their mind to achieve something they will achieve it they will get it whatever this is so i'm getting that vibe that you might be single right now you are living your life you are doing whatever you want to do then suddenly you meet this person who's as passionate as you as crazy as you has same goals has same desires want to achieve whatever you want to do is the 
both are equally bold both are e both are equally uh, fascinated or equally passionate uh, passionate or equally interested in achieving some specific things and you come together as a power couple that is what i'm seeing maybe in business because these both are business people the empress has a, her own empire the capricorn is the boss the capricorn is all about business so i'm seeing both of you might even start a business together which will definitely make good money which will definitely give you the kind of attention you are hoping to get the kind of um, connections you are hoping to have and this uh, will definitely be a beautiful roller coaster ride that will, there will be ups and downs but it will be worth it and it will be something which you both will enjoy doing so i'm getting very strong power couple vibe over here maybe this devil will turn the single min minor arcana empress to this married uh, major arcana empress maybe that is what is happening over here but strong strong pregnancy also showing up over here so be careful if you don't want that right now the devil is all about sexual passion desire and empress is very fertile so that is why i'm giving you that heads up in case you don't want that right now talk about money all these cards talk about money the the devil definitely lives the life of luxury definitely does not live small empress same thing nine of pentacle is all about luxury and we also got the 10 of pentacles which is ultimate happiness every like living the life of abundance living the life of uh, wish fulfillment like your elders are proud of you your spirit guides are proud of you um, you have everything you have loyalty because that is what the dogs represent over here you have loyalty you have faith you have beautiful partnership beautiful partnership over here uh, you have kids you have you have everything you want a lot of money money is something which is showing up a lot so you might be having this nine of pentacles right now but nine of pentacles energy is might be close to 10 of pentacles but 10 of pentacles energy is living the li like old money it's living the life in luxury living your dream life uh, being set for life even your um, uh, future generations will have uh, the life of luxury so this is like long term and the 10 of pentacles also shows long term so if this is marriage is going to be a beautiful long term commitment and uh, something which will be very very successful if it is a business again long term success so 10 is all about long term so this is what i'm seeing i'm seeing this turning into something beautiful i'll also do romance angels for you i didn't do it for pile number 1 because this is this clearly feels like uh falling in love getting married living the life of your dreams and becoming a power couple that is what i'm seeing over here and also having a very passionate life with, with this person so having the best of everything like best of all the worlds i'm seeing over here love passion romance everything whatever you want that is what these cards are there are these all cards are extremely positive very very positive whoever says that the devil is a negative card oh please even the death is not a negative there is no negative card in tarot tarot is only sometimes gives you warning that you need to be careful like i told you if you are not interested in getting pregnant right now need to be careful just sh gives you like a warning like this thing ahead make be clear of that that's the only thing there's nothing negative let's see what more we can get from the uh, oracle cards and then the we will uh, i'm also going to do some romance angels for you today extra and the or uh, initials initials for because you guys enjoy that so let's add some initials to the reading as well do check out the intro section for to find out about the giveaway gemini speak your world into beings power couple partnership twin flames you both might be twin flames as well twin flames are tho those kind of people who go through similar life experiences and you are very much alike very much alike when you when you meet you find that many things match you are very much compatible the chemistry is of the charts very much alike that is what i'm seeing so this might be twin flames as well speak your world into being so visualizing speaking talking inner talk discussing with each other focusing on what you want and not on what you don't want so that is what you how you will manifest your dream life 
Gemini might be important. So the, the signs which I'm seeing is strong uh, Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, now Gemini. Okay, let's see. Capricorn, yes, strong Capricorn. Leave the past behind. So maybe there is some, uh, maybe some past aspect someone is holding on to or because of past experience someone has some negativity in them and they need to let that go. Leave the past behind. That is something which can be your hurdle, your obstacle and that needs to be released. The past whatever happened, it needs to be released. It happened for a reason, there was a lesson in it. You learned the lesson, now you move forward. If you stay stuck in the past, it's like you saying staying stuck in the same standard. The universe wants you to clear that standard and move ahead to the next standard. Move ahead, go out of that school, leave the school, go to the university, go to the college. But if you keep holding on to the past, you're staying there, you're staying stuck, you're not moving ahead. So the leaving the past behind, shedding that old skin is very much needed for some of you who if you are holding on to that. This message is always repeated for most of us because we all have the tendency to hold on to the past. And we all need to learn how to let go. Oh wow, the card of hope. All these piles are only about hope. Hope is always there even if we can't see it. Optimistic expectation can help change your negative situation into a positive one. Negative situation into a positive one. No matter how negative your past was, there is a very bright positive future for you. And you need to focus on that. I'm seeing softness. I'm seeing... So all these signs might be important for you. Uh, a dove, rainbow, pink color, pink rose. Some a very soft and sweet and beautiful energy with the empress as well. Empress is all about beauty. Beauty, radiance. So even this entire card, I'm getting a lot of softness. So this might be new romance also, new love also, which is soft, which starts soft. But it's going to be very passionate because we have the devil over here. So it's going to turn into something really passionate very soon. But it's starting very soft, very innocently, uh, very beautiful, maybe even as friends. But the intentions are pure because we did get a pure intention as well as the dove over here. But the intentions of these people are pure, which is beautiful, pure intention. The fairy of manifestation will help you to use your wishes wisely, manifest your heart's desire with pure intention and for the highest good of all. So whenever you're trying to manifest, never try to say anything negative about anyone else. Never try to talk back about your horrible, uh, like talk something horrible about your, um, about your past. That that person did something wrong to me, so I hope that person goes burn in the hell or something like that. Never say anything negative about anyone. Karma is very much real, and always try to uh, do in a in a way that it is for the highest good of all. That everyone will be benefit out, benefited out of it so in the best way possible for for everyone's good, highest good of all. That should always be there. Should always be pure intention behind anything. It becomes easier. Life becomes easier when there are pure intention. When you're trying to manipulate, when you're trying to steal from someone, that means that there is, there is lack mentality. And lack, you feel that uh, you have to steal it. You feel that there is not enough. So that is lack mentality. So there should, the intention should always be pure. Like you should never hope for someone else's downfall so that you will rise. It should always be that this will be good for me and everyone involved, everyone else. Or I hope it happens in a way that everyone is benefited. And Or you can just stop ta talking and thinking about everyone else and only focus on yourself. That is the easy way. Uh, let's see what the unicorns have to do say. help the help you need is on its way so keep watching for it so maybe you have asked for some help number three number three number nine 
3 times 3 is 9. So number 3 is your lucky number, important number. Maybe there is some message in third pile. But um, the number 3 is something which will bring you luck. The and or the month of December might be important because we have Capricorn over here. So December m m m might be your birth month. Capricorn we have twice. So the month of December also might be important. The help you need is on its way. So keep watching for it. Dignity number 6 again 3. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. So 3 is something very important for you. Hold your head up high and know that unicorns are supporting you. So yeah, the help. So you have definitely have help. So you, whatever reason you're feeling low, maybe because of the past, whatever reason you're feeling burdened, you just need to ask for help and the help will be given to you in the most unusual way. You won't even believe that how the help is coming towards you, but the help will come to you. Universe, the God, God or whoever you believe in will find a way to help you. You just need to ask that. You just need to pray for it that help me with this. Help me find the right solution. And it will come to you in the most unique way. You, you, will, you won't have to go and hunt for it. It will come to you. Let's see some initials now. Oh God. I picked up a lot of initials by mistake. Someone must be a doctor, wants to be a doctor or is already a doctor, any kind of doctor. However, these initials help you. Annie. Someone's name might be Annie. Might get some clues, might get some messages. Some people even form sentences out of this. Some find their name, some find their, the person they are interested in, their name. You can get some clue for your business, like your business name or something like that. Well, this looks like more of a business pile than a job pile for me because we have the Empress and the Devil. Term. Something will come to term. Something is coming to term. Term. Term something. Like something legal term. Or whatever this is. Take it as it resonates with you. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you in my next one. Welcome pile number 3. So today what we are doing is uh, we are seeing what you need to know now. Uh, do check out the intro part because I am doing a giveaway this month and I have mentioned the details about it in the intro section. Uh, so we are seeing all aspects of your life be it finance, be it love, be it um, health, anything, any messages that are important for you, anything you need to know now, uh, any guidance you need from the spirit guides right now. So you have this pile. We have heart over here. We also have the pink um, color over here. It looks like rose quartz. Wow, beautiful. Let's see what the card says. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. So sometimes we do need to accept things as they are. Instead of trying to forcing something to happen, you should actually be at peace by accepting that things happen for a reason there is always a lesson there is always a lesson some everything yeah either you win or you learn there is no failure like it's all there's always a lesson let's see what the tarot has to say somebody needs to accept something which they are not re accepting they are ho holding on to grudges holding on to anger Maybe something related to the parents, like your parents, or you have some issues with that, or uh, or an ex, or something unfair happened with your job, in your career, something which you are not, re yeah, oh wow, <sighs> letting go, leaving back, leaving it behind, whatever these cups were, they, they are in the past right now. These cups are empty now. These cups do not serve you. These cups are not good for you. They were at a time good for you. They were at a time serving you. There was a time when you were happy with these cups but not anymore. And you need to walk away. You need to release this. You need to leave this. 
so we saw that ex- we accepted that yes a cup got emptied we accepted that yes we had some kind of failure maybe a relationship failure maybe a career failure maybe there was some kind of loss something failed now now is the time to accept and walk away release it no need on holding on to this which does not serve us anymore but to accept that yes this was a failure yes this did not turn out uh, this did not turn out as i wanted it to turn out and walking away so that is what this card talks about and this card talks about patience so having patience even if you don't have the answers right now you need to have patience you are wherever you're planting your seeds once you walk away from negative situation whatever that situation was health finances uh, or relationship whatever that negative negative past was you walked away from there now you need to be very sure what you're planting so whatever you're thinking whatever you're talking whatever you are whatever is going on uh, in your mind whatever you're visualizing whatever you're writing whatever energy you're focusing on those are all the seeds you're planting for your future so first of all make sure that you're planting only good seeds only what you want so focus all your energy only on the things you want and nothing about the past nothing of what you don't want nothing negative because the universe does not understand if it if you are uh, if that is good for you or bad for you if that is negative or positive if you want it or you don't want it where your energy is focused that will come in your life so whatever seeds you are planting first be sure that that is exactly what you want second of second thing be patient things take time be patient and definitely healing does take time so if you are walking away from something painful yes you need to heal first before you moved into move into something new so healing will definitely take time let's see what more energy is coming for you what you need to know now what does my pile number 3 need to know now the emperor this was in pile number 1 pile number 2 had the empress so i'm amazed that the emperor came up again so we'll talk about it wait and the judgment yes so the judgment call has been done you left something behind this is following the inner voice following the inner calling and when you follow that inner voice right this is universe's judgment the universe wanted you to move away from here when you follow this inner voice and you have patience and plant the right seeds you become completely in charge of your life emperor who is completely in charge of your life you get whatever you want and you might start at a small level you are really reaching top you are reaching at a big level there also might be something related to being a father figure or being connected with a father figure take it as it resonates with you either you are a father figure or you are being connected or attracting a father figure in your life because i'm seeing a child over here and i'm the emperor is the father figure the emperor is the father of the deck so if you are interested in maybe love you are moving towards more mature relationship you are moving towards more which feels comfortable which feels that which is loving caring nurturing supportive protective that is the kind of love you are moving towards if you are moving towards a bad experience in relationship you know if you are leaving that behind slowly steadily with patience with some inner guidance with some divine uh, intervention with some direction from the divine from the universe by following your inner calling having faith and having patience faith and patience will give you the kind of protection the kind of support the kind of devotion you'll get you deserve you want in a relationship so that is related to a relationship if this is related to work related to money then i do see you walking away from something where you felt neglect where you were not happy you were not happy in that environment you are planting your seeds into something you love something you desire something you are happy about excited about this is as per your inner calling your this is your passion <coughs> sorry this is what you always wanted to do 
you are being patient about it and you are achieving the success you want because emperor is very successful and has his own empire has his own business is doing very well is wealthy is financially stable <coughs> so a uh, beat about health or beat uh, sorry beat about relationship or beat about money you are definitely moving from something which was not good towards something which which you will be completely in control of and you will love it you will enjoy it and there is also maturity happening over here moving from something which felt uh, lacked support moving towards something which is mature and beautiful and nice and comforting like a loving parent so the relationship you are moving towards is absolutely beautiful it's something which is which feels like home which feels nice which feels comfortable which feels safe and secure so that is what you are moving towards and this is as per the divine intervention as per the divine calling that's why it will feel effortless it won't feel like you have to you know walk on eggshells or stand on your head to impress that person no everything will be effortless be it job be it your business or a relationship you will not have to put a lot of efforts into it you will be divinely guided so that you can do the right thing and with patience and faith you will get the right results so follow that intuition follow that gut feeling maybe you'll get some messages in dreams as well follow that and you will be guided towards what is good for you what is the best for you let's see what the oracles have to say Virgo no sorry Scorpio I'm so sorry I just got I saw this and I thought it's Virgo Scorpio go deeper so maybe when you leave this behind you need to go deep within yourself to find what exactly you're passionate about what exactly you want knowing what you want is the first step towards manifesting anything achieving anything if you don't have a target in front of you what are you going to hit you need a target to hit right there should be a target to it. there should be a destiny to start your journey so you should know what you want so go deep within your heart in your emotions because scorpio is a water sign very emotional go deep within your heart and try to understand what exactly is that you want what your soul wants what your heart wants not your logical mind not your analytical mind not your ego but what your soul wants that is why we are going deeper to understand the soul first quarter moon in pisces so we got very strong water over here so maybe water signs are watching this uh, scorpio pisces uh, sorry cancer i'm so sorry scorpio pisces uh, cancer and honor your feelings again all about feelings all about emotions going within if you feel like something like after this after the loss if you feel like you need to heal you need to cry let it flow let it come out honor that feeling do never suppress your feelings your feelings will like, take you where you want to go your feelings will show you the right path suppressing your feelings will, is a very bad way of handling it your feelings need to like guide you they need to show you what exactly you desire if something feels right then that is good for you if something feels wrong that is not good for you we all have that instinct we all have that gut feeling which we need to follow which will guide us to exactly what we don't want so very strong emotions very strong water energy also aries is over here with emperor let's see what the fairies have to say sorry Ah, wish wisely. Again, you should know what you want. One more, and then I'll read it. Uh, go outside. Okay. Wish wisely. Use your wishes wisely to manifest your heart's desire, and take practical step towards making your dreams come true. Wishing wisely, taking practical steps. That is, like you should know what you want. 
विश वाइजली डोंट गो फॉर समथिंग विच फील्स राइट नाउ गो फॉर लॉन्ग टर्म प्लान लॉन्ग टर्म गोल्स गो आउटसाइड इट्स टाइम टू गो आउटसाइड ट्यून इन टू पावरफुल पीस ऑफ पीस ऑफ नेचर वेर एवर यू आर फील एट वन विथ योर हैबिट आर्ट सो गोइंग विद इन द नेचर ऑलवेज हेल्प्स वॉकिंग आउटसाइड गोइंग नियर अ वॉटर बॉडी गोइंग क्लोज टू नेचर ऑलवेज हेल्प्स इट हेल्प्स टू कनेक्ट इट हेल्प्स अस रिमूव फ्रॉम द स्ट्रेस ऑफ आर एनवायरमेंट एंड फील कनेक्टेड विद द यूनिवर्स फील कनेक्टेड विद समथिंग हायर देन आस समथिंग बिगर देन आस सो मे बी टेकिंग अ वॉक इन द नेचर विल हेल्प यू अंडरस्टैंड बेटर वॉट एग्जैक्टली यू वॉन्ट यूनिकॉन्स हैव टू से प्रॉस्पेरिटी वाओ नंबर सेवन इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर यू नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव इज इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रॉस्पेरिटी इज फ्लोइंग टूवर्ड्स यू सो बी ओपन टू रिसीव इट so the prosperity or whatever pro- whatever you consider prosperity whatever you consider happiness it's coming towards you you need to be open to receive it you should not be in a stuck energy thing or holding on to the past help this was there in pile number 2 as well to help you need the help you need is on its way so keep watching for it so number 12 number 12 is important number 3 is important you obviously have chosen the pile number 3 number 25 is important to the help you need is on its way so keep watching so whatever you will pray for wherever you need help over here i can see this already divine presence divine guidance so the divine or whoever you believe in does want to help you you just need to ask for it so pray for some help from support for some guidance and it will come to you Let's see some initials. This might give you some clue about whatever you're trying to achieve. Or someone's name. Someone's business name. I didn't want intentionally. There was no way I was going to put this together, but uh, I'll keep it. I'll keep it PG. I'm sorry. Can't do that. It's funny. Sometimes spirit guides like to be funny with me. So this is what I have for you, pal number three. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you in my next one.